Hello, hello, Blender enthusiast. Welcome back. Somehow we made it past the 100 subscriber mark over Christmas. So thank you a lot for that. I had no expectations at all. But this is incredible to get this support this quickly. Um, yeah, I just love it. I, I love doing this. So I'm glad everyone enjoys it as well. And it helps everyone. Well, that's nice to see as well. In this tutorial, we're going to continue that hair trend a little bit. Um, last tutorial we did animal fur. Um, so it's only natural to do human hair this tutorial. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Right, so I'm going to get into it right away. And what can we do without a human head? Right, we want to make human hair. We need a head. So I'm going to start off by getting rid of our terrestrial friend. Bye bye. And I'm going to import an OBJ I downloaded for free, of course, um, on Turbo Squid. So let me find it real quick. It's probably called like, uh, yeah, no, that's a, yeah, this one. Um, it's completely free, low poly as well. Well, at least quite low poly. It's not over, over detailed. Um, so I will add this in the description, the link to get this. So you can all follow along nicely. And right away, I'm just going to change some of these dimensions. It's a little bit big, so I'm just going to set this all at like, um well let's see 0 0.5 maybe maybe a little bit a little bit bigger something like this um and just position it around the center looking great all right so i'm gonna go to front view and i'm just gonna position my camera in that center point because i'm just gonna be rendering it out from the center point of view as well right beautiful all right before we do anything um, to see what hair will look like um, in your final render, it is always smart to already set up your lighting. So I'm just going to delete my initial light and I'm going to set my render settings to cycles, of course. And then I'm just going to open up an HDRI. I love HDRIs. They do a lot of the lighting for you and you get a lot of realism out of it as well because you get those lightings and the reflections with it. And what I'm using lately is called Klutz Leblay. Um, I found it, um, well, a while back, but I keep coming back to this one because it's a very soft lighting, but it still looks very, very nice and with contrast. So I'm just using that. And what I do usually is just set the rotation right from the start. Um, so I'm going to go to my shader editor, go to world, and I'm going to select my notes, press control T. Once again, if you don't have the note wrangler, go to edit preferences. Go to add-ons and look for Node Wrangler. And just hit this little box and save your preferences, of course. And now you can select your HDRI and press Ctrl-T and these two nodes will appear. Right, so now you can change the rotation. I already played around with this a little bit. So I'm going to set my HDRI at, I think it was 325, look the best in my final render. And um, so that's what we're going to be using. Beautiful. I'm just going to swipe this away for now. We're not going to be needing it. Right. So one more thing, we're going to add a black background, right? And the reason why is because I don't want this HDRI to be shown in the background. So I'm going to go to my render properties, go to film and just hit transparent to disable that. And I want something to be behind my character because hairs, well, they're not that thick or dense from the start. So we're going to have to find the right amount of hair strands and thickness of the hairs and stuff. So I like to have a high contrast when I work with hair with the background. And my hair is going to be white. I'm going to make some kind of a old hairstyle, like um, white hair, something you would see on, on Sanda, right? We're going to stick in the Christmas vibe just a little bit more. Talking about Christmas, um, I hope you all had a nice Christmas, had some nice food, had a nice time with friends or family. Um, so this is going to be a little bit Christmas themed as well. So I'm going to add a plane. I'm just going to move that to the back. And just scale it up a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to be nice, it just has to be there in the background. And I'm going to make that black right away. Um, so just go to your shaders, add a new one, and just make that black. Beautiful. A black shader. Easy. All right. Draw a box with Ctrl B, so your render region is set. And now we're going to be adding hair. Right. So, hair. The first step should do, or the first steps I take when I make hair, is defining what kind of, um, what kind of hair groups we have. Right, and for this one, I'm thinking I want to make a male, so something like Santa, so I need hair on the top of the head, long hair, and I want a mustache and a beard, of course. 
So that are three separate particle systems. You can try to make it all of, out of the same, but it's just way harder. It's way easier to do them separately so you can shape them all individually and give them all individual properties as well. So that's why I separate my particle systems. And we're even going to separate it by one more step, and I will show you that later. But first, let's war work on those vertex groups because that is what we can use to define where the hairs will be. So we're going to hit that plus, and the first one is going to be hair. All right, so go to weight paint, and we're going to use the brush, set that to a weight of one, and we're just going to draw like the hairline of Santa right now. <laughs> I'm just going to call this Santa, right? So he is probably going to be a little bit balding. He's a little bit old. So I'm just going to draw somewhere or somewhat of a hairline. And by no means am I um, <laughs> am I like used to drawing hairlines. So I have no clue what they pretty much look like. So I usually just do this from what I think it looks like. And it ends up looking all right most of the times. I'm not sure how. Um, but yeah, I think um, it just doesn't really matter that much. All right. So <laughs> we're going to do both halves, of course. Not only one half of hair. And this one's gonna have a little bit of a cut there. Losing a little bit of hair is no problem. And then draw it down there. And then connect it right there in the back. And now we can just fill it in pretty much and look look at what we've done later. And the importance with those hairlines and stuff is that I mostly try to keep it symmetrical. And you can do the same. You can also have it non-symmetrical. It all depends on the kind of hair that you're making. Right, but this is gonna be the top hair of Santa, and Santa's of course not worrying about this hair that much. He's got a lot going on in his life. He has to make all these presents and deliver them on time, um, so he doesn't have a lot of time to to get his hair cut professionally. Right, so he usually just lets it grow, and it helps with the cold as well. Right, I mean, why would you go completely shaved or bald, or why would you get a skin fade if you work in the cold every single day? Um, I would keep my hair long for sure, and if I would be able to grow a proper beard, um, then I would, for sure. Right, so we're nearly done with this top head, so just gonna fill this in real quick, and then I'm just gonna look at the front of my Santa head and see what it looks like, if it's nice and symmetrical. And, well, I gotta say, it's not that bad. I'm just gonna finish up some few things, some final touches, and there we go, it's quite symmetrical actually, beautiful, right, next, we're gonna hit that plus sign again, and this is gonna be the moustache, beautiful, and remember what I said, I was gonna split it up, so I'm gonna have moustache R for right, and I'm gonna have moustache L for left, so the first one, right, is gonna be right there, a nice thick moustache, it's gonna down, I wanted to um, to attach pretty much to the beard, right? So I want them to be one part in the final in the final render. So that's why I'm drawing it a little bit longer because it will just connect with that beard here naturally. You don't have to do anything for it. So something like this, and I'm going to do the left side, and I want to do pretty much the same kind of shape. Just try to have them matching nicely. Something like this looks nice. And I'm gonna go back and forth real quick to see. All right, so the left, right one is a little bit too, too long. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off, like that. And see, we got some somewhat of a similar, similar hair groups now. And that's that's perfect. And the reason I'm splitting these two up is because we want this like, um, we want this part in the middle where the right side goes to the right straight away, and the left side goes to the left straight away. Like the, um, I'm not sure what it's called in English, but the cut in the hair, like where you have the the hair spreading in different directions <laughs> um that's pretty much what i want and that's very hard to do with combing alone so that's why i make two systems it will just be easier third one of course the beard all right let's draw a nice beard um and once again i'm doing this because i've already done this um, plenty of times so i know pretty pretty well where you can expect some of these hairs to be um, of course, it all depends on how it is groomed. So I'm just going to draw like a well-groomed um, beard first. And then I'm going to add some 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 chaos and stuff later. Um, because I want some chaos for Santa. He has some chaos in his beard. Okay, He's moving very fast in cold weather. He's going to have some chaos. So we're going to be drawing this up right there. 
right above the airline and this is going to move up a little bit and then connect beautiful right so that's pretty much well isn't completely symmetrical but it will do fine and <clears throat> usually i won't draw really below that neckline maybe until like there um but it's santa he needs the beard for the heat so there's no way he's grooming his neck hairs right so santa's got a little bit of a neck beard so we're going to be be making that as well right so we want some hairs over there going up to the cheeks beautiful he's not going to groom all of that so we're going to connect it just like that beautiful and now i want some of these parts to soften out a little bit so i'm going to get that blur and i'm just going to blur these edges a little bit and these parts are important and this is not that important but let's do it anyway and of course the neck beard is quite important and for the neck beard i'm even going to grab the average brush which will basically try to make those colors so the high um the high value areas and low value areas it will try to find the average with a low strength you can see that it you can blend it quite nicely right so i'm just blending that neck beard a little bit better like so beautiful right so we're now all set to add hairs so i'm going to go to my camera view at zero and i'm going to start by adding a hair particle system set this to hair and the first one i played around with this before i'm going to set it around 1.6 um to get like the initial hair length and what i'm going to do first is set that vertex group to hair so it's only on the head right now for the rest of these settings is pretty much playing around Right, so I usually set my hairs a little bit higher because you can see that we are missing some hairs on this like uh, this hairline and stuff. So usually when I up this a little bit, it will already match that hairline that we just drew a little bit better. Right, you can even up this a little bit more, but just don't overdo it because your system will feel violated. Right, next up, the segments. I'm just going to set this a little bit higher because we're working with, with lo long hair. So I'm just upping that a little bit. And for the steps, I'm setting this at 8. Because we've got long hair, we want a lot of steps as well. Beautiful. All right. Well, first things first. We need children. And we need those because we don't have plenty of hair to cover everything. So we need more hair, way more hair. Right. But before we do that, we're going to be grooming it a little bit. So go to particle edit. And now we can actually draw some of that hair we think Santa has. Right, so what I usually do is go to the side view and enable x-ray so we can um, groom both sides at once. And I think Santa has his hairs a little bit combed back and over his head. And then it just flows nicely with a little bit of curls. So I'm going to swipe all of this down a little bit. Like so. And if you have some, um, some jagged hair, go to the options on the top right and just set your path steps a little bit higher. You can see if I set this higher, we have way more... Um, way more area to work with and may way more hair detail to actually sculpt and stuff right so i'm gonna be drawing some kind of a, a santa hair system and by no means am i qualified to know what that looks like exactly but i'm just drawing some curls and some chaos in this hair because i like it and a lot of hair and organic stuff in blender anyway is just drawing what you think it looks like and it usually will be nice anyway Right, so this is nice. Make sure to have that, that hairline nice and upstanding right there. And then the sides, I'm going to turn this off for now. So the x-ray, the sides, I want this to be... Actually, let's turn it on for a sec. Let's let's move this to the sides a little bit because it will just move out a little bit. And then at the bottom, it will usually just rest on shoulders, right, of people. Senna, or it will be groomed over or back. But I like it um, like resting on the shoulder. So I'm just going to move this to the to the left a little bit and make some curls myself, right? You can do it in the particle system, but you can make the bigger curls during the grooming sessions. And that's just nice, right? So I'm just moving this to the side, moving this to the side a little bit, make some nice thick hair of Santa. There we go. That's already looking quite all right. And don't forget to look at the sides of your character because usually if you only look at the front, it will look quite odd. Um, so we're just looking on the sides now and seeing if we can change any of that flow of the hair to look better. Something like there, something like this. And we're just gonna move this out and let's just see how it looks with some children particles now, right? So select interpolate it and just, just leave that at 10 for now. Um, and it's very clean. It looks very clean. 
Uh, but I want it to be outstanding a little bit more, right? So it looks a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to move everything outwards a little bit and create some nice curls on those endpoints. Same for the right side. Beautiful. Add some curls. You can even make some hairs longer by selecting this length brush and just grow those bottom hairs a little bit. Like so. I think that looks beautiful. Nice. All right. So next up is usually uh, the roughness settings. Um, but before we do that, I want to start with the kink so we can get that curl set up, right? And the curl is very important in this scenario because I want it to be nice and curly hair, right? So I'm going to select long hair first at those children because we have long hair, so I'm just going to select that. And then I'm going to set this kink on curl. And I'm going to set the curl a little bit smaller, 0.14, worked out nice. And this clumping is set up nicely, but the frequency, in my opinion, has to go a lot higher. So like um, something around the 3.8 is what I used. So you can see we're gonna get some amazing curls going on already. Um, so this is where I get excited for the hairs and stuff because we already have something nice set up. Right, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And I am now going to go into that shape. Right, so the shape defines where these curls start. Zero will start at like the base of your hair. And if you, if you like um, shape this up, it will start later in your hair strands, right? So I don't want it to start too late because I already like the curl starting right at the front of his face. So I'm gonna set this at around 0.1. Something like this looks nice, right? Um, and you can even do this in minus values as well, if you like. So it starts sooner and ends <laughs> with no curls, um, but I don't like that in this case. Something like this, beautiful. Right, so now you can see we got some very, um, like nice hair strands but i want them to be a little bit more chaotic so i'm going to go to the roughness settings and what i'm going to do is just increase this random size to about 0.2 and the size can be around 0.6 and this is already showing that we got some more chaos in our hair um so that's looking very nice i still want these hair strands to be visible in the end so i'm not going to touch the uniform maybe a little bit actually Maybe a little bit of universal roughness. Let's see. It can add some nice value to our hair. Right, and if we think the size a little bit lower, perhaps. Yeah, this is a little chaotic, but not too much in my pain. So 0. 0.7 may do the trick. Beautiful. Nice. Next up, we're going to disable this particle system. Actually, let's set the display amount first. And I'm going to set this at around 50. Um, and it will slow down. And you gotta you gotta go through that. If your computer can't handle that much, obviously set it lower until you're gonna render. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna hide it anyway, so that's fine. Next up is the mustache, right? This is gonna be hair as well, and this is going to be on the right mustache. And the length is way too long, so we're gonna set the length at around point one. And I want this to be thousand. That's fine. And I think the other parts are pretty much set already. Maybe you want to increase the steps a little bit more to 0.4, or sorry, to 4. And yeah, that's pretty much looking all right. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna groom this from the start, right? So I'm gonna comb this to the left a little bit, to the sides, like a beard could do in real life as well. Um, something like that. And I want some kind of a curl in this bottom part and I just like that so I'm gonna increase the length there a little bit like so and I'm just gonna comb this into a nice little curl because I like it and if I like it I can do it that's how it works with hair systems and organic stuff in blender right and I want to move this to the front a little bit never forget to go into the side view when you're working with hair otherwise it can look quite odd something like that and we're gonna do the same thing for our right hair system. But let's first get this one set up nicely, right? So I want some kinks, some curls. So we have to add some children right there. And three will already be fine for this one. Something like three. Or actually maybe a little bit more. Um, we'll see later. Let's leave it at three first. And let's play around with the roughness settings, right? So I think we need some clumping still. So clumping means that the endpoints of these hairs will try and clump together a little bit. And did we actually forget that for the hair? Oh my god. Let's go back to the hair for a second. And let's go to the clumping settings. And actually we did set that up. I completely forgot. Nice. 
So get, no, we did not. I'm in the wrong particle systems. Go to this first one, make sure to select it and go to the clumping. And I'm going to set the clumping at around 0.5. Yeah, that's looking better. And the shave up at around 0.3, I guess. Um, that's usually a value that works nice. All right, so disable this again. And let's work on this little hair system there. I want some curls, a little bit. So I'm going to kink curl. That's way too much. I'm going to decrease this. And I want it to curl bottom boards first, like so. And the amplitude is a little bit too, too high. Like this. And the frequency can go down a little bit, like so. Beautiful. And I want a little bit of roughness as well. Some uniform roughness. Per oh, too much. A little bit. And some random value as well, so it doesn't look as um, as beautiful as it did, right? So, beautiful, beautiful. Let's call this hair. Let's call the second one Stash R. Let's add a new one, hair. And this can follow the particle systems of the first mustache of the right one. There we go. Make sure to add this little duplication setting. Because if you make changes in this particle system, it will change for the first one as well. So we want this to be set at the same. Actually, let's just leave that at one. Let's leave it at one. So that if we make edits later on, it will affect both of those particle systems. Beautiful. All we need to do, and I'm not sure if that's going to work actually. If we go to vertex groups and set density on left now, you can see that it has the same settings on the left. Um, the left, left moustache. So right and left will now have the same settings. Let's go to particle systems. And let's just groom this in the way we did for the previous one as well. Right. Um, and remember, I added a nice little curl and the bottom part, so we need some more length, and then we can curl this up nicely. Right, <laughs> so curling of a moustache is just something I like to do. So that's why I added something like that. Remember what I said, we need to look at the side view and just move that out a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be flat on the skin, and that's not nice. Beautiful. Very nice. We can always edit this later on, guys. It's completely all right. Nice. Final one. It's going to be the wait this is tash l final one will be the beard right and that's going to be hair as well and this one is going to be the beard density right and we need some less length on that because this is too long we're gonna be using 0.9 or maybe even yeah 0.9 is fine right and from the start i'm gonna set the segments a little bit higher and with the segments, I mean steps, I'm going to set this to 8. Because the beard is going to be quite long as well. And that means we need some more steps. Set this to around 8. And let's go to particle edit. And this beard is going to be groomed nicely. So we're going to be grooming this. And let's just disable the other two particle systems for a second. We're going to be grooming this in a way we think the beard will look. And I have no clue what exactly the beard will look like that I am making right now. Um, I like to groom every beard differently because I just like randomness in hairs and stuff like that. But what I do know is that hair will usually follow the path of the hair first. So the, it will be like in a normal direction of the hair on the skin. So this will move outwards a little bit and then go down. Same thing for the sides and stuff. So it all goes outwards first a little bit and then it will fall down with gravity and with the wind center goes to. Um, so we're just going to be grooming some curls, some natural curls. And I want this endpoint to be close together, but I still want some variation. So I'm going to be grooming some of these curls myself. Right? There's a nice curl. Or the nice curl over there as well. And over here, perhaps. And there, some nice curls. Um, and we can even add curls over there in the top. Remember, the first part I want to be sticking outwards right away for that normal value. Right, and we can even draw some curves in the side views of this beard. Like so. And on the other side as well, so it doesn't all move straight down. That's the important part. So it looks nice and natural. Just like that. That's looking nice already. So let's go to object mode. And let's enable children. Interpolate it. And let's just work with these values for now. Right, so I'm going to set the clump value up first. So about 0.7. And this one can clump, um, let's see, right at the endpoints as well. So 0.5 maybe. 
And I want some kinks again, some curls. Nice, that's way too much, but it's fine. Um, and for clumping, uh, oh sorry, for the for the curls, the amplitude will define which direction it will curl to first. So the positive direction um, will curl your hair, for example, to the left first. And if you go to the minus, it will curl the other way first. Right, so you can play around with that. And I like the negative values more for this one. So I'm gonna set this at like a negative point. Uh, let's see, negative 1.7. That's what I had. That's a little bit too 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 high, uh, something like that. And I'm gonna move the frequency down to 0.4. And you can see that it directly affects my curl. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit again. Um, and actually, frequency is way too low. I'm gonna swipe this up a little bit, so it curls more. Set this at two again. <laughs> it looked way better, right? So you will see me playing around with these settings left and right. Um, and I want the shape, I want it to curl later. So I'm going to set the shape at around 0.4, right? So it starts right after these initial points. And that's looking nice already. I'm going to set this a little bit higher. Like so. And we're going to be adding some roughness values. And we're going to set this roughness on about 0.15. And the size will be fine. And we want some randomness as well. So it doesn't all look like single hair strands all right so we have some more randomness in those hairs something like that it's looking nice i think the curl may actually be a little bit too strong so i'm going to decrease that a little bit like so and what we can do now is just go to particle edit and i want some more length in this beard at the lower parts so right there i want this to be a little bit longer um, and let's see how it looks from the side make everything a little bit longer Right, I like long beards. So let's just go to the sculpt or sorry to the groom tool and just change that a little bit, right? Make it nice and curly from the start. So when our curl is applied with the chill and particles, it will look even curlier. Yes, sir. Something like that. Add some beautiful curls. Once again. There we go. Looking very nice. And maybe even move this inwards a little bit. So it moves out in like the front view, like so. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so let's take a look what it looks like in rendered view. And let's go to the camera view. All right, so this is not looking perfect yet, but we can make it perfect. Um, starting by changing the shape of the hair. It's way too thick, so go to hair shape. And let's change the diameter to about, um, I usually do 0.2 and 0.1, and I think that looks fine for this as well. Yeah, that looks nice. So let's select our camera and zoom out a little bit so we can see the full beard in vision. And now let's actually set this beard to have some more particles. So I think we have it at 10, but I want it to be like around 20. So more hairs. Beautiful. Nice. All right, let's enable these mustaches as well. There we go. And we have to change their thickness as well. They follow the same particle system, so we only have to change that once. But I'm going to set the um, the hair shape of this moustache to be around 0.2 and 0.15. And the reason why I'm doing this tip a little bit thicker is because the moustache is shorter hair, right? And we all know hair grows thinner the longer it gets, at least to like the, the, the points of the beards will get a little bit thinner. Um, and that's also why if you shape your shave your moustache, it feels way thicker because the hair is just thicker at the base, right? So if the moustache is shorter, for example, than the beard in this case, I'm also going to make the endpoints a little bit thicker than the beard now. So I'm going to use 0.15 for the moustache and 0.1 for the beard. And I'm also going to use 0.2 and 0.1 for the hair. So let's go to the hair. Let's enable that. It will make our particle system a little bit slower because it has a lot of hairs. But enable that. You can see it all together in a second right there and so it's way too thick so let's set this at like 0.2 and 0.1 as well 0.2 and the tip is gonna be 0.1 give it a second it is trying its hardest um and you can see everything already flows together nicely right so those hairs and stuff and i actually feel like we missed our step with the hair because it curls out quite strongly to the side so maybe we need to groom that back a little bit right so let's hide everything but those hairs 
um, so we can work freely. And let's just set this display amount to 10 for now. So we can groom this. So let's go to particle systems uh, settings and let's just groom everything back a little bit. It felt like it needed a little bit of um, a little bit of flattens to the sides of the face, the face, something like that, perhaps. Right. And don't don't worry, we can groom this back side to the sides a little bit as well. So it falls down nicely. And let's just move this out a little bit there, there and there. Beautiful. Nice. Add some curls. All right. Absolutely nice. Just like that. No worries. We can change everything on the go. Let's see how it looks. All right. I think that looks way better. So let's see how this looks in rendered view. So the hair only. Let's set this amount back to about 50 in the viewport. And let's see how it looks. All right. That's looking way better. Nice. I like, I like the wildness of this hair. And let's enable everything else. Let's see it all together. So the beard. I'm going to hide the hair for now because it's making my system too slow. So I'm just going to do the stashes and the beard for now because I know they look nice. And we're going to do the materials now. So I want to add one material for the skin. So I'm going to call this skin if it allows me to. Let's go to object view and change this material. Hello, can I double click this please? Yeah, there we go. Change it to skin, add a new one. And this one is going to be new called hair. So we're going to use the hair system for all three hair sets. And the skin is actually going to be a Blender Kit add-on, right? So just, just enable that, search for a skin. And it's going to be the third one that I like to use. So this one, um, usually when I choose it, it is a little bit too big. So I instantly will just increase that vector a little bit. So go to the shader editor and I'm talking about this mapping vector. And usually I will just set that to around 12, I guess. Um, I don't want these scales to be too low because then the skin will look too big for the human head. And I think 12 will look fine for this, this skill we've got going on, right? So the dimensions of the head. Okay. So for the hair, I'm going to do something very easy. Um, let's hit home to find our material, delete this and add a principled hair BSDF and connect that to the surface. And instead of dark col coloring, I'm using melanin, right? And with melanin, one will be completely black, zero will be completely white and everything in between will be brown to light brown to dark blonde to blonde, light blonde, white, right? So zero will be white and that's what I want. And the roughness is, I'm going to change that right away because I do that all the time. This roughness value is not working out that well, the, the default ones, unless you want some um, some low roughness hairs, but usually hair is quite rough, at least for hair like this. So I'm going to swap this up a little bit, put the roughness down. So we still have some of these light reflections, right? So radial roughness up is usually something I go for right away. Um, so that's it already for the hair. All we need to do is apply that to the particles. So go to hair and go to the render tab. Where is my render tab? There it is. Material wants to be hair. And for the smoosh dash, of course, as well. We only have to change it for one of the systems because they follow the same. And for the beard skin, uh, sorry, for the beard hair as well. So let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Hello. Render this out a little bit. And let's see. Right, so that's looking very nice. And let's see it together with the hairs. Um, because now it's bald. We need some luscious hair on top. There we go. Wow. Well, I really love how this turned out. I'm not sure about you, but I like the way these hairs are all curling. And it looks like a guy that could live in some very, very cold environments, right? <laughs> so I'm going to render this out real quick and then I'll be back for some feedback with you. Right. So the image is done. And I think it went very well. We got some very long and soft looking hair, smooth hair, curls. It looks like, a, well, it doesn't look completely like Senna because it's a young face, but I think we nailed the hair. So it's nice and 
uh, soft looking while also looking quite realistic. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, how to make something like this quick and nicely. Um, so feel free to use it for whatever you want, whatever hair you need. Um, you can pretty much use this for it. So I really hope it helped. Um, in advance, I wish you a very happy new year. Um, hopefully it's going to be a year full with Blender surprises and new Blender successes. So thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like or a comment or subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.